D is for Donald Trump, and I want to tell you something. This whole rhyming thing is great, but it's going to hold me back. I'm not going to be able to say what I want to say. So the whole meter, I'm going to throw that out and just say, you know, listen, the point is uh, we're going to build a wall. <laughs> Oh, well, with the recent outcome of the election, there will be no shortage of Donald Trump impressions throughout the next few years. And that right there was impressionist Jim Meskimen. He will be in town this weekend headlining a special fundraiser to support the upcoming 12th annual Sunscreen Film Festival. Here with all the details is Pinellas County Film Commissioner and Sunscreen founder Tony Armour. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back. Thank you. Thanks for having me. He's awesome. How exciting yeah, will it be no, to have him here this weekend? He's really fun forward to seeing what he's seeing, what he's going to get now, you know, with He's going to uh, do something, time. Donald Trump, I'm uh, you sure. You would assume, you would yeah. assume, yeah. So tell us about this fundraiser. This is all for the big festival uh, yep. next year, which is when? April 27th to the 30th. Okay, so that's the big, de the big deal yep. in April. But it takes a lot of money, and it takes a lot of effort to get it here. It takes a lot of time and everything. So yeah. my office is the, the headline mm -hmm. sponsor of the event, and the fundraiser this weekend, you know, is supporting its six, six till sunscreen, so six months until okay. sunscreen. And it, it takes a good six months to a year to put these things yes, on. Yes, I know yeah. it does. Well, what can people expect? Tickets are still available. We can get yeah. them. Yeah, you can go to the sunscreenfilmfestival.com mm -hmm. website. Tickets are available. General admission, mm -hmm. VIP where you can get a meet and greet, you can sponsor a table, and then there's going to be dinner and a performance and everything, so it'll be a really fun event. And by the way, people may recognize him. He was on America's Got Talent as yeah. well, just as long uh, with our uh, magicians that we just had on uh, previous season, so it's pretty exciting to have him here. He's got a big fan base. Yeah, he does a lot of uh, lot of television, a lot of mm -hmm. film, a lot of commercials. You see the face and you're like, I know that guy. Maybe you don't know yeah. the name, but you know him. What else is going to be there besides, obviously, um, his talented uh, impressions? Yeah, well, like I said, there's going to be a great, uh, a great dinner, mm -hmm. and then uh, his performance and a little VIP meet okay, and greet great. afterwards so it should be a fun event so as uh, let's go fast forward now to the, the yeah. festival that you guys are working on where are you in kind of time wise with getting festivals in I mean what are you doing yeah. at this point? so right now it's that time period where all the movies are coming in so, okay, people so you're are, screening them people are submitting we'll get something like five or six hundred films that'll come in and somebody has to watch all those not me okay but somebody's gonna watch say, all those do movies. you watch yeah. any of them I watch right. I do watch some but not yeah. not all of them uh-huh. All right. And then how long, how do you pay? I mean, how does it work? How do people? Yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's a whole process. You know, there's a programming director and a mm -hmm. senior program and a programming team. And you watch 500 movies and you review mm -hmm. and you rate and you discuss and you kind of go through this whole process. Do they basically. come in from everywhere? I mean, this is not just Florida. This is, I mean, are they all over the, the country, all over the, world. all over the world? Yeah, yeah. So for years, we've had films coming in from, you know, all over Europe and Asia and South mm -hmm. America. And we have actually a huge uh, Latin film component. So a, wow. a great number of uh, Spanish language you know mm -hmm. Latin films as well so worldwide let's get our pulse right now on kind of how Florida is doing Tampa yeah. the, the Bay Area sure. you know there's always kind of this top it's a hot topic of we wish we could get more movies yeah. here I mean that's the goal that's obviously what you do that's how are we I doing do. anything yeah. in the works right now yeah there's a lot of stuff in the works you know everybody sees those big films mm -hmm. you know the Tim Burton film the Brian Cranston film when those shot here but without those big state film incentives yeah. you just don't get them so you know my job is to work on a lot of those smaller films mm -hmm. that we can get so I've been traveling all over you know hustling doing when I can and we've got some good stuff lined up nothing I can announce yet but some good things coming well I was gonna ask why are those smaller for you know because sometimes the bigger ones do get yeah. the most attention but why is it important to make sure that we are getting some indie films and some other things that are kind of in the works why is that so important yeah you know these are the films that are gonna play like a Sundance Film Festival or Sunscreen mm -hmm. Film Festival and these are the up-and-comers those next generation yeah. of directors and producers and actors and when they get discovered at something like that then they go on to big things they remember where they yeah. came from and so you know then you get them to come back and make the big movies here all right well, thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank again, you. it's going to be a great event this weekend. You do not want to miss it. And then again, in April is when the big uh, film festival is going to be here. So there is the uh, information for this weekend. We'll make sure and post it on our website as well. Thank you so much. We look thank forward you. to having you back. Absolutely.